YouTuber The Woofer Cooker, I believe that's how you pronounce it and how it's made, the name of a, sp of a particular friend I have, <clears throat> allowed me to come over to his house and do some trading and buying and selling and stuff like that, mainly audio stuff. One of those things that I got was the Sansui X SPX 7000 loudspeaker here. Unfortunately, there's only one, but I'm, I'm gladly able to take one, you know. I'm sure I'll find another. Let's go see it real quick. JBL 2235H Productions presents... Yeah, the cabinet's a little rough. Um, but nothing that I can't handle. The front cover has some, like, bruises or whatever you want to call it. Some stuff is uh, coming off. It's just like a paint. That's all fixable. Behind the grill is in great condition. You get a 12 inch woofer. The woofer is made by Matsushita Electronics in Japan. Uh, we have a Foster tweeter, um, which was made for Sansui, just like the woofer was. Two tweeters, I don't know the manufacturer. I'd say they're the same manufacturer as the mid range. Uh, I'm going to get a new mid range for this unit as well, as you can see. It's functional, but not pretty. There's a nice big tear in the cone. But it does work. You got the treble amount control from soft, which is the lowest position. Natural, which is what it normally would be. Or clear, which is a boost. I usually keep it in the soft position after the crossovers are recapped. And this one's not been recapped yet. Um, within time, I'll make some videos of when I recap this and in that video you'll be able to see the individual drivers um, but right now I'm not going to take it apart I'll give a quick uh, audio test um, these tweeters uh, sometimes go out and people have been looking for a suitable replacement um, that's just because people push them way too hard there's a reason why there's a wattage radio on the back of speakers that shows what the maximum uh, power is Possible suitable, suitable replacement could be one of these guys. You'd have to modify the crossover because it sometimes might be a, a different impedance and lower wattage. But this is pretty much the same thing. These are brand new tweeters. Uh, you could get them on Parts Express. Ordered a couple before they sold out. But they're on eBay occasionally, brand new. Sometimes used. And uh, it's pretty much the same exact tweeter, just a different wattage rating and I think a different impedance. Essentially the same tweeter, same, it actually even came probably from the same die because those numbers are there on the on the one in there and it also says Japan right in the same exact location. It's two halves. There's little distinct markings on this that are on there too. So I'd say it's from the same die or, or uh, a variation of the die that was used to make this one back in the 70s uh, when this speaker was made. That's what I'm guessing is when this was from. It has a cloth surround. It's not the kind that hardens like those pioneers uh, used. This is a uh, properly made cloth edge which means it doesn't harden. Cloth edge on the mid-range. Phenolic diaphragm in the horn. Uh, I don't know what these are. I don't know what the composition of the cone material is, but I do know those are not piezo tweeters. Those are actual super tweeters. Uh, actual moving cone dynamic units. Let's take a look at the cabinet, then we'll take a look at the back and what I did to fix it. So, I'm um, looking at it. It's a pretty, pretty nice enclosure. The hardest part to replace any laminate or whatever this material is would be the front, which is in perfect condition. The, bur the worst part is the outside. Uh, it's pretty worn down. Right there, that really bothers me right there is where that's snapped off. It's become brittle, it's got folded back and it broke off. Sides aren't too bad. Can't see this side too well because my camera decides to uh, 
go its own way with its focusing issues. The bottom's despicable on this thing. But it's all there. I mean, it's, it's about like this. Except it's like that on all the corners. I could strip this off, take some wood filler to it, possibly paint it, or uh, get some new material here. But until I locate a decent provider of this wood green paper plastic stuff, I'm not going to do anything to it. It's not too bad. There's no massive chunks taken out of it, so... See the original uh, quality control sticker. Now, if you look over here, this is the original speaker terminal plate. And as you can see, this button on this thing is broken out of the negative side. That's the only thing wrong with it. And you just have to shove a wire in there and hope it stays. Well, that's not the way we do things here. So I took apart um, the remains of an old amplifier that had some very nice gold plated um, binding posts. Used the holes provided. They were perfect sized. And attached to these banana plugs. These are, you can insert the banana plugs inside or put in bare wire or spade connectors, whatever you want. And where this was mounted with two screws on the edge, I just filled the screws back in. And uh, it's pretty simple to mount these, just put a nut on the back and uh, tighten it down. Make sure these are uh, even and they're not facing this way or something. And I think it looks pretty good, like that. Um, besides, I just don't like shoving wire into something and hoping it stays because it just develops into a bad connection. There's the serial number, definitely not an early speaker. This is the specifications. Now let me go run and get an audio amplifier and we'll do some tests. This includes frequency tests, uh, some excursion maybe, and of course a sound quality test. Now I'm going to do it real low level because this camera microphone likes to play around with its digital signal processing and turn the volume down a little bit and you can't get a true um, feel for the way this thing sounds and of course you definitely won't through a YouTube video but I can give you the realest way possible so let me go get, in, get some decent thick wire and a Amplifier some around 100 watts so normally factory provided connections would be Just push a wire in there while pressing this button down release and it clamps down And th even though this one's good, you know good great quality. It, it is broken. I Don't like those anyways So go ahead and plug this in for viewing Stick it in there sure it stays of course one thing you got to worry about is when these are so close together like they are you want to make sure that they don't touch because then that would cause your amplifier to poop its guts out well if it uses an STK pack then it's dead forever if it uses separate transistors it might be repairable and both are repairable but you know <laughs> STK packs suck so well not all of them the early ones were decent but they're not as good sound quality as the separate transistor units why am I babbling on about transistors? Let's get on with this uh, speaker. Got the control set flat with a little bit of boost in the treble to give it a little bit more of a treble presence. The original non-polarized electrolytic Rubicon capacitors in this thing are aging. Therefore, they're becoming leaky and they will get replaced with some Solon caps or Dayton Audio film caps. So here's a little music. 25 seconds per song.
really raining hard out there. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Let's see what song shall we pick? Here we're doing a 15 hertz test tone. I got some nice dimples. I'm all, I'm, I am up for some cloth speaker dimples. I don't know why. There's two of them. Really moves some air. It's not complaining at all. If I could find something to show you how much air these are pushing out, I would. Or I could just put you right in front of there. No air leaks from behind. My computer continues to make stupid noises, which it's not supposed to. Don't you just love it? Here's a 5 hertz test tone. Maximum excursion. moves quite a bit. Jesus. Okay, now I have some pink uh, pink noise. I'm going to show you what the control does. You can hear the tweeters, you know, hissing away. If you pay attention very clearly, I'm going to show you what this control will do. The crossover capacitors that power these are dead, so these aren't making any noise, but I have tested them and they do work. So it is up for recap. Now I have some brown noise, which is mostly composed of lower frequencies, if I'm correct. And we're really going to turn it up real loud, see how, <laughs> how loud this will get. pretty loud. Very loud in fact. Hope you enjoyed this view at a Sansui speaker today. We'll be restoring the cabinet, you know, for the most part. Might be doing a little bit of repair of the edges and the front grille. That's about it. Of course, recapping the crossover too. 
and thanks for watching. 7,000 loudspeaker here. Unfortunately, there's only one. But I'm I'm gladly able to take one, you know. I'm sure I'll find another. Let's go see it real quick. JBL 2235H Productions presents. Yeah, the cabinet's a little rough. Um, but nothing that I can't handle. The front cover has some like bruises or whatever you want to call it. Some stuff is uh, coming off. It's just like a paint. That's all fixable. Behind the grill is in great condition. You got a 12 inch woofer. The woofer is made by Matsushita Electronics in Japan. Uh, we have a Foster tweeter. Um, which was made for Sansui, just like the woofer was. Two tweeters, I don't know the manufacturer. I'd say they're the same manufacturer as the mid range. I'm going to get a new mid range for this unit as well, as you can see. YouTuber The Woofer Cooker, I believe that's how you pronounce it and how it's made. The name of a, of a particular friend I have <clears throat> allowed me to come over to his house and do some trading and buying and selling and stuff like that. Mainly audio stuff. One of those things that I got was the Sansui SPX. It's functional, but not pretty. There's a nice big tear in the cone. But it does work. You got the treble amount control from soft, which is the lowest position. Natural, which is what it normally would be. Or clear, which is a boost. I usually keep it in the soft position after the crossovers are recapped. And this one's not been recapped.